Welcome everybody, I'm back. I'm the Empress, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we got this full moon energy coming in tonight. So yeah, it's pretty much well, get the energy. We're gonna pull the energy, we're gonna see what messages we have, okay? So it is gonna be a general read. Whatever pops out, that's what we're going to discuss. That's what we're going to talk about. So a lot of people have been saying they've been what? In their feelings. People uh, have been feeling the shift. People have been experiencing, um, you know, just um, a shift. I can just say that. Like the emotions are have been high. Um, people have been experiencing just a different type of energy come in since this full moon has taken place. People have been feeling it a few days prior. So we're just going to talk. We're going to have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's see what messages we get. See if we can try to get some clarity. All right. So give me a message for the collective, please. All right. So we got attachment here. Attachment wanted to jump and this was at the bottom of the deck so we got king all right now i'm getting somebody separating themselves from a masculine somebody who is either already separate from a masculine or uh feeling the need feel, feeling like they're too attached to this masculine here because we got ego, journey, spiritual journey, and king. So that's kind of giving me like trying to detach from this person right here. But there may be a sense of, you know, someone may be afraid that, afraid of being lonely, afraid of being alone. Because we got worried and lonely here. So somebody could be dealing with a little bit of sadness, of feeling like, you know, alone could be. But the holiday that just passed, somebody has just been feeling, you know, alone, I'm getting that. Or feeling like, you know, they're extremely attached to this masculine here. I'm getting, I'm picking that up. Like, uh, somebody is super attached. Somebody could also have abandonment issues. Tense. Yeah, and then we got journey right here at the bottom of the deck and ego. Someone is really, really operating from their lower self. And a situation could have gotten extremely intense, okay? Somebody is operating from their ego. Like somebody's operating from a place of ego it's like if somebody goes out i'm seeing a divine feminine here it seems like when this female wants to go out this masculine could be getting upset because this masculine could be the one who has this attachment to this divine feminine it could be vice versa however it goes but somebody get is could be feeling tense. Because it seems like this this uh, female here could be out trying to celebrate, out trying to have a good time. And this masculine is making a situation extremely tense because this masculine has attachment issues. They're too attached. Wow. Is somebody a Kanye up in this bit? <laughs> Is somebody Kanye up in here? Because I'm getting, I'm getting, it's a masculine. I'm picking up that it's a masculine behaving like this towards a, a female, a divine feminine. Divine feminine. Somebody is too attached. All right, so let's, let's get a little bit more information. Oh, goodness. Okay. What's going on with the collective? Who is this attached energy? Show me this person's energy. This 
person's energy is two of wands, the hierophant, six of wands. Ooh. I'm getting somebody needs to change of environment. I'm getting like somebody needs to change an environment or change their address. Because it seems like somebody is popping up. I'm getting somebody's popping up. Somebody has the confidence to just pop up wherever you are. They have that. This is someone's ego. They have the tendency to just like pop up wherever you are. Like if you out somewhere, you tell this person that you're going out, you're doing this, you're doing it. This person could possibly just like pop up over there. Wow. Y'all are dealing with a, a damn maniac. The Magician, the Hangman, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups, the Emperor, King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm getting like somebody feels like they have to make something up to someone. I'm hearing that. Somebody feels like they have to make something up to you. This person feels like they have to make something up to you. So they're going overboard. Why is the nine of cups here? This person is trying to get you to change your mind. This person knows that they messed up. Ooh. They felt like you would have been over it by now. Why is the wheel here? Knight of Cups. They want to give you some type of offer to try to get you to change your mind. But somebody said that they don't want it. Oh, okay. Why is this three of pentacles here? This person worked really hard on something, really hard on something to get you to come back. Somebody's trying to get you back. Wow. This person is trying to get you back. They feel like they have to make up. They got some making up to do. Why is this Ten of Swords here in this future energy? Ooh, okay. I'm getting, this person is regretting betraying you. We got the Ten of Swords and the Moon and the Five of Cups. This person betrayed you. Like, they real deal stabbed you in the back. They did some flaw, fake ass. They did something real messed up. Now they're having big time regrets. Now they feel like they got to make it up. You could have told this person that, look, I'm already in this situation. I already got somebody else. I already found something else to do, some, something else, someone else to be with. This person is saying, I thought you said you want a serious relationship, but somebody got caught in a lie or got caught being sneaky, got caught cheating, possibly with another option. We got the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Empress. So this person had other people. So that could have been a betrayal. This person could have been dealing with someone else. Yeah, I'm here. I already found, I already got somebody. You telling this, you told this person that you already got somebody or you already got something else going on. 
Now this person feels like they have to make it up to you to get you to, to get you to come back. They just put in a lot of effort. Something that they just did recently, it was like overboard. Because we got the Ten of Wands over here. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Like, they put a lot of effort into it. It was a lot that this person could have went out on the limb for to try to get your attention. They feel like they should, they have to actually like wow you, woo you. I'm getting love bomb you. Um, I don't think it worked. This person is afraid that you don't love them anymore. And they're stalking you. This person just wants you to give it some thought. Okay, like they want you to look at the effort that they're putting in. They're looking and seeing. It looks like for some of y'all, y'all already in another situation and it looks like you're happy there. Okay, this drives this person crazy. Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. This drives this person mad. So this person is really upset that you aren't, you aren't accepting what they're offering. I'm hearing not answering calls or not responding back, giving up on the situation. Their intuition is telling them that you're giving up on the situation because you're not responding how you would normally respond to them. But yeah, this person, I feel like it's a, it's a masculine. It's a masculine that is still attached um, to this divine feminine. This masculine has not let go. I feel like they don't put in some type of little effort to try to win you back over. And try to get you to uh, change your mind. But I feel like some of y'all have... It's like it's a little too late. You got moved on. You got something new. All right. So, it is what it is. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.